Joining our team coverage here tonight, the state's legal system is now trying to adjust to a new normal as COVID-19 concerns keep people out of the courtroom. Tonight, Capitol reporter Forrest Saunders joining us with how everyone from attorneys to chief justices now feeling the impact. Instead of a busy office, you'll find immigration attorney Elizabeth Ritchie on her porch for now. Lawyers, too, figuring out how to work from home. It's for everybody's safety. I can understand that. Instead of meeting in person or courts, motions, conferences held online when possible. Video chats and electronic documents, the new standard, a dramatic change for a legal system still preferring analog to digital. People are confused and people are scared. So it's, uh, it's interesting. I haven't seen anything like it ever, even after 9-11. Florida's Attorney General Ashley Moody telling the public to bear with the state as it takes precaution. The leaders of the court system will do everything that they can when this order is lifted to make sure that our, our process and our court system resumes its level of service for our citizens. Behind the scenes, she says, progress still being made in high-profile cases like alleged financial fraud at the Coalition Against Domestic Violence. As these documents uh, come into our uh, possession, we'll continue to review those, continue to prepare, just as we would if the court was proceeding. But other judicial aspects on hold. The Supreme Court likely waiting until May for nominees to replace two justices. Governor DeSantis saying recently COVID-19 takes precedent over his original March 23rd deadline. I just don't see it as being practical given all the things we're dealing with as a state. In Tallahassee, Forrest Saunders, ABC Action News.